Some actors spend their entire careers pining for an Oscar, and some end up winning on their very first try. Take Leonardo DiCaprio, for example, who has had many Oscar-worthy performances over the years, but has only won one, which finally happened in 2015 for his role in The Revenant. And compare him to Jennifer Lawrence, who quickly burst onto the awards scene and won an Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in Silver Linings Playbook in 2013. When one actor has an Oscar and another doesn't, it doesn't doesn't mean one is any better than the other, it's a combination of a lot of things, like luck, timing, who else is in the category, and occasionally there are some big time snubs. And we all know Hollywood is a tricky business, especially around award season. So with the biggest award show of award season, the Oscars airing tonight, we decided to do a roundup of some of the biggest snubs in recent history. Here are some of the most surprising Oscar snubs right here on Listed. Let's start with a couple that might surprise you, because I know they definitely surprised us here at Clever. When you think about the Oscars, it's easy to think about celebs like Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt, right? They have both been iconic movie stars for decades now, and they've both had plenty of Oscar-worthy performances. But shockingly enough, neither one of them has an individual Academy Award for their solo performances. These are two Hollywood legends we're talking about, but so far, neither one of them has won an Oscar for the Best Lead Actor or Best Supporting Actor. Two categories they've both been more than qualified in. So let's break this down, starting with Tom Cruise. Tom has been nominated for an Oscar three times. Twice for Best Lead Actor, his first nomination was in 1990 for his role in Born on the 4th of July, and his second was in 1997 for his role in Jerry Maguire. Then in 2000, he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Magnolia, but still no luck. And now here we are in 2020, 20 years later, and he still hasn't been nominated since. Tom Cruise has been in so many great films over the years, like Top Gun, Risky Business, and even some that have won Oscars like Rain Man. But Tom is still empty-handed, leaving him as one of the most famous, yet most snubbed actors in Academy Awards history. Now, let's talk about Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt has technically won an Oscar because of the movie 12 Years a Slave, which he had a small part in, one for Best Picture. But when it comes to the big individual categories like Best Lead Actor and Best Supporting Actor, Brad, like Tom, has been left with no nominations so far. Anyway, Brad's first Oscar nomination was back in 1996 for his supporting role in 12 Monkeys. After that, he was nominated for Best Lead Actor in 2009 and 2012 for his roles in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button and Moneyball, respectively. But now, Brad actually has another shot at winning his very own Oscar. This year, he's nominated for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and if tonight goes how the rest of awards season has been going, then Brad might walk away an Oscar winner tonight. He's already won both the Golden Globe and SAG Award for his role, so an Oscar definitely is not off the table, and if you're asking me, I think he has a really big chance of winning. Brad up against some tough competition in his category though with Tom Hanks, Joe Pesci, Anthony Hopkins and Al Pacino who are all Academy Award winners. But what better time than now for Brad to win an Oscar for his acting, am I right? I mean I even told him this myself. Yes, I know, I know, I still pinch myself that this actually happened. <sighs> anyway, we definitely could see it happening tonight and would just love to see his acceptance speech. All right, you guys, let's move on to another celebrity who has shockingly been snubbed from every Oscar win, Glenn Close. But she hasn't been snubbed just once or twice or even three times. Glenn actually holds the record of most nominations for an Oscar without ever actually winning one. She's been nominated for an Academy Award in the acting category seven times since 1983, but has never won any of them. And just last year, everyone thought Glenn Close was gonna win the Oscar for her role as the wife in The Wife. We all thought, this is it. This is finally the year that Glenn Close is gonna walk away an Oscar winner. She was nominated for Best Actress alongside a number of other amazing actresses like Melissa McCarthy for her role in Can You Ever Forgive Me, Yalitza Aparicio for Roma, and of course, Lady Gaga for A Star Is Born. But at the end of a narrow race with such incredibly talented women, Olivia Colman ended up winning the award for her role in The Favourite, which also starred Taylor Swift's boyfriend, Joe Alwyn. We were all so happy for Olivia Colman and the great work that she did in The Favourite. Honestly, I loved her in this film and this particular role, but people were really looking forward to seeing Glenn Close taking home the award for the very first time. 
even Olivia. Glenn, close. I, you've been my idol for so long, and this is not how I, I wanted it to be, and I, I think you're amazing. I love you very much. And while Glenn hasn't taken home an Oscar, at the very least, she missed out to some of the best in the biz. In 2012, she missed out to Meryl Streep. In 1989, she missed out to Jodie Foster. And in 1983, she missed out to Jessica Lange. So I guess at least she missed out to some of the best, but still seven nominations and zero awards? Come on Academy, I mean will Glenn Close ever get her Oscar? And not far behind Glenn Close is Amy Adams who has six individual acting Oscar nominations and also zero wins. From 2006 to 2013, Amy was nominated four times in the Best Supporting Actress category for her roles in Junebug, Doubt, The Fighter and The Master. Then in 2014, she got her first nomination for Best Lead Actress for her role in American Hustle. And just last year, you guys, she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress again for her role in Vice. But what fans are most upset about is that she wasn't even nominated in 2016 for her role in Arrival. The Best Actress nominees that year were Isabelle Huppert for Elle, Ruth Nager for Loving, Emma Stone for La La Land, Natalie Portman for Jackie, and Meryl Streep for Florence Foster Jenkins. At the time, Forbes writer Scott Mendelson wrote, quote, Between you and me, Streep's work in Florence Foster Jenkins is a supporting performance. It's Hugh Grant's story, and I would have gladly swapped her out for Adams. And had Adams been nominated, as nearly everyone expected her to be, I would be rooting for her to win on her sixth try. And many fans felt the same way. They took to Twitter to share their anger about Amy's lack of Oscar wins. One person shared this funny clip and wrote, quote, Amy Adams at the Oscars thinking about how many times she should have won. Still, you can still be sad and be impeccably dressed. <laughs> I'm sad, but I'm dressed well. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jake. Like, I had to, that just happened. <laughs> Another said, quote, If I ever win an Oscar before Amy Adams, I'm bringing her up on stage and then leaving the facility. And another wrote, Sometimes I randomly remember that the Academy still hasn't given Amy Adams an Oscar and my entire day is ruined. And to this day, Amy is still one of the most snubbed celebs in Oscar history. Alright, moving on to another celeb who surprisingly also never won an Oscar. Samuel L. Jackson. He's actually only been nominated one time for his supporting role in Pulp Fiction back in 1994. Which is shocking because he too has been in plenty of Oscar worthy movies like Django Unchained, Jackie Brown, Coach Carter and so many more. But the Oscars have been repeatedly criticised for their lack of inclusivity among its nominees. And a few years ago Samuel spoke about the Oscars and how he thinks the show has actually gotten a bit better over the years. In 2016 he said quote, This time of the year in Hollywood is an interesting time of year. This year seems to be a bit different from the hashtag Oscars so white of last year. All of these films have people of colour in them. They are impactful and moving films. So while he still hasn't won an award, he's happy to see the Academy at least trying to move in the right direction when it comes to inclusivity compared to how they have been in the past. And hopefully Samuel L. Jackson will win an Oscar soon because I feel like it's about time. Another celeb who's never won an Academy Award is Michelle Williams, who's had four Oscar nominations over the years for her roles in Brokeback Mountain, Blue Valentine, My Week with Marilyn and Manchester by the Sea. Michelle has won many other awards for her acting like Golden Globes, Emmys, SAG Awards and Critics' Choice Awards, but she still hasn't won an Oscar. Seriously, are you as shocked as I am that all of these critically acclaimed actors have been snubbed? Let's move on to this year's show because there were lots of snubs from tonight's Oscars that the internet has been buzzing about. Let's start with our girl Beyonce. Now Beyonce was snubbed at this year's Oscars for Best Original Song for her song Spirit from the Lion King. And we just have one question for the Academy. Are you seriously going to miss the chance to have Queen B perform at the Academy Awards? I mean, what a missed opportunity. But this wasn't even the first time that Beyonce was snubbed. She was totally snubbed back in 2007 when she was deemed ineligible for a nomination for her song Listen for Dreamgirls. And if you remember correctly, the song was actually nominated, but Beyonce's name was nowhere to be found. Beyonce wrote the song alongside fellow songwriters Henry Krieger, Anne Previn and Scott Cutler, and apparently the Academy only nominates songs with two, maybe three writers. They said, quote, 
No more than two statuettes will normally be given in the original song category. A third statuette may be awarded when there are three essentially equal contributors to a song. So the Academy decided to qualify Henry, Anne and Scott for the best song nomination and offered no explanation for why Beyonce was excluded in favor of the other three writers. And fans are still not over this one. One person wrote, May we never forget the most unforgivable Oscars snub of all time. Beyonce should have won for Listen in Dreamgirls. And another said, The Oscars have always had an issue with people of color and women. It's not surprising that Beyonce was excluded from the Listen nomination back in 2007, and it's no surprise that she was snubbed this year for Spirit. And speaking of women being snubbed, Greta Gerwig was also totally snubbed from this year's nominations. First, she was snubbed at the Golden Globes for the Best Director nomination for her movie Little Women, so you'd think that the Oscars would nominate her after all the outrage. But no, at the 2020 Golden Globes, Greta, along with all the other female directors, were left out of the Best Director category. Then the Oscars went ahead and did the exact same thing. Even the cast of Little Women were shocked that their director, Greta, didn't pick up a Golden Globe nomination. Saoirse, Florence and Eliza appeared on the Today Show where Hoda brought up how Greta had been left out of the director's race and that only male directors were nominated this year. Florence started off by saying, quote, I think we were all just a bit totally shocked, really. Then Saoirse, who did get nominated for both the Oscar and Golden Globe for her role in Little Women, said that, quote, she has made one of the best movies of the year. But then she went on to explain why it's important we all recognize the significance of Greta's absence from the nominations. In a way, it's sort of vital for something like this to happen because it reminds us of how far Obviously, we mm. still need to go. Yeah. What's so mind-blowing about Greta's snub this year is that the Academy went for her movie Little Women in a big way. It received nominations for Best Supporting Actress, Best Actress, Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Costume Design, Best Original Score and Best Picture. Yet, it still wasn't enough to get Greta into the Best Director lineup. Another woman who was left off the nominations this year that many fans thought was snubbed is Jennifer Lopez. JLo picked up nominations from the Golden Globes, Critics' Choice Awards and Screen Actor Guild Awards for her role in Hustlers and this would have been her very first Oscar nomination. And the internet isn't thrilled about the snub. One person wrote, I genuinely think not nominating J-Lo is rooted in racism and sexism about the kinds of performances the Oscars deem worthy of praise. Do not at me. Another said, Hustlers is such a good f movie. J-Lo is best actress of the year, period. Oscars cancelled. She already took it. And another wrote, so you're telling me that not only could the Oscars not nominate any female directors, but they also failed to nominate Aquafina, J-Lo or even Lupita? Glad to see the Academy is up to their same b hashtag Oscar norms. And while those tweets make a lot of good points, we couldn't help but notice that this is also another missed opportunity by the Academy to have stars like J-Lo and Beyonce on the red carpet. And the last snub from this year's nominations that we'll talk about for now is Frozen 2. Fresh off the heels of making history as the most successful nominated film ever at the box office, the film was actually left out of the nominations, except in Best Original Song category. Fans totally thought Frozen who should have been nominated in the Best Animated Film category. And while the Academy doesn't usually love sequels, two other sequels managed to make the cut. Toy Story 4 and How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. So we may never know why Frozen 2 didn't get the respect it deserved, or why Amy Adams, Tom Cruise and Samuel L. Jackson have never won Oscars. But hey, it's Hollywood and anything can happen. I know we will all for sure be tuning in tonight and we'll be covering all the biggest moments at the Oscars, so make sure you stay tuned to Clever News for all the tea. But right now you guys, I want to know what you think about this list. Which snub is the most upsetting to you and who are you the most surprised to hear never won an actual Oscar. I know there were so many on this list for me. Get to talking right here in the comment section below. And while you're down there leaving comments, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay updated on everything Oscars and hit the bell to be notified the second we post about it. After that, catch up on all the tea you missed right over here. I'm Susan Morad. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you later. Bye.